Okay, yeah. It's been a while since we've had our wonderful little rant session. So, I figure I owe you one. But what to rant about today? That's a good question. How about... Collection company system, this one's probably fucking lit. That's better. Collection companies. Not only are they a pain in the ass to deal with, they're also one of the worst places to work for. I don't work for one anymore, but I used to. Let me tell you, it's a living hell. It's like, oh, uh, hello, is Mr. or Mrs. Um, yeah, I can't pronounce this last name, so is David there? He's not. Are you his wife? No. Okay then. Alrighty, well I'm gonna have to give you a call back later. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna give you a couple tips. Now I don't normally do this in my wonderful little rants of a gay psychopath, but here's a couple tips on how to avoid collections agents. Tip number one is of course pay your bills. But if you've already missed out on that, well, then you're just shit out of luck. You know, you know, SOL, shit out of luck. Anywho, um, tip number two. When they call and ask for the last four digits of a social security number, lie. If you say that you're the same... Can't talk. Anywho, you say that you have the same name, give them a different social security number, and a different birth date. Now, keep in mind that when you do give a social security number, make sure that the first three digits are from your own. Just, you know, to get their hopes up. But once you give them the ending, change it because there's these things out there called pseudo-socials. Now, pseudo-socials are these wonderful little things given to our wonderful American immigrants. Not American immigrants. Americans were already here, fucker. Dumbass. I swear I'm not drunk or stoned or anything. But um, they're given to people who Im who immigrated to this country, legally or not. That's a different rant, different day. Right? Moving on. Uh, Pseudo-socials aren't really all that good. I mean, if you have one, oh well. But if you don't have one, yeah, don't give one out. Um, let's see. Tip number three. Send them a letter telling them to cease and desist. And if you word it nicely and professionally, they will cease and desist for about a good month or so if you tell them that you're going to try and raise the money and send it in. Unfortunately, I've had to deal with collection companies for way too long. And, um, yeah, I've, I've learned this by now. So, y'all should really pay heed. Now, our second topic today is clowns. Clowns are scary. They're not funny. They're, they're, they're scary. They're way too fake. They're like Barbie. Oh, wait, no. Barbie's really not real. The clowns are real, but they're just too... Anyways, they're too fake looking. I don't like them. Clowns equal bad. See a clown run, because it will try to eat your brain. You know what I'm talking about. Don't so! Yes, you do. You don't know what I'm talking about. So, anyhow, run away from clowns. Run far, far away! I love it because my neighbors look in the window and they see me talking to myself. Technically. Even though, technically, I could be talking to millions of people around the world, which, by the way, I do love you guys. So, just so you know. Anywho, that about wraps it up for Rants of a Gay Psychopath. I'm using a new camera, so we'll see how this works out. Anywho's, bye bitches.